Hi everybody, I'm Tom Bond, bushcrafter and outdoor survivalist. I'm going to show you how to call for help in an emergency situation using Morse code SOS. Morse code was used long before telephones and walkie-talkies and is used in a series of beeps of long and short little pauses. That spells out SOS, three short beeps, three long and three short. For more little tips and tricks like this for you on your adventures, tune into Bush Kids on RTE2. Throughout the year, you can come across mushrooms and fungi, such as this little fella here. They may look pretty, but a lot of them are extremely poisonous. So stick with the saying, if in doubt, leave it out. Today I'm going to show you how to do a, do a bowline knot used in many, many, many situations. It's a non-slip knot. Very perfect for putting down over your little poles or your tent pegs. Form a loop into the bunny hole, around the tree, and back through the bunny hole. And as you see, you form yourself a little loop down over holds tight. Today I'm going to show you using a modern day flint and steel how you can create a flame for you to get your campfire up and going. By scraping one off the other you create sparks. Also you can see which direction the spoke is going so now you know the wind direction. So give it a good scrape. I'm going to use traditionally use birch bark but of course today we have modern modern different materials you can use. By scraping one off the other, you make really high temperature sparks. And that onto your material, such as this birch bark that I'm using here today. Give it a really good scrape. Down onto your birch bark. And get your fire up and going. For more little tips and tricks for your wilderness adventures, tune in to Bush Kids on RTE2. To make a basic clove hitch, all you had to do is, using your, your cordage, form a loop, form a second loop, place the second loop behind the first loop, pull it down over your pole, pull tight, good and sturdy. And today I'm going to show you how to do a Siberian hitch, a really wonderful quick release knot. You have your piece of cordage, put it around your pole or your tree or your tent peg, whichever you decide to use. Form a little loop in around the back, put it through like this, pull tight and that holds very sturdy. Pull, release and go. For more little tips and tricks like this for you on your adventures, tune in to Bush Kids on RTE2.